What is going on guys? Alrighty, so today basically what I'm going to be doing is explaining the whole setup situation that I have. So as a lot of you know, my setup right now is not that great, but with some exceptions I do have an incredible keyboard, mouse pad, and mouse, which is the Black Widow Chroma, Firefly, and the Razer Death Adder. I am actually incredibly grateful for these, I have bought these with my own money. I do have a job right now, I work at a pizza place, so I do make my own money for this. I do not get any of this bought for me. I would just like to point that out just to make sure that that is out of the way. But yes, I'm saying I do actually have a very good um, peripheral setup, but the problem is the gaming aspect of the setup. So basically, I have a laptop that can't do anything except write documents on Word. Video editing is not a good experience. Every 15 seconds, it freezes for about 2-3 to three minutes, and almost every edit I do, it has a problem with. And to give you a comparison on how well this thing runs games, on lowest settings, with Razer Game Booster on, I get 10 FPS on Minecraft without recording. Anyway, so basically for a very long time I have explained that I will be getting a new setup soon that comes with like a new PC that's really fast and all that. And I've always said it's coming soon, but I've never actually addressed when it's coming or exactly what it is. I've never actually addressed that problem. Okay. So to clear this up, right now, I have a job I have been saving for a very long time. I saved a couple years before I got the job, and now that I've got the job, the money's starting to really pick up. I will be getting a new PC by the end of this term. Okay, so basically the PC, on average, is going to come around at about $2,000 Australian. And mind you that I do live in Australia, so everything is way more expensive. So basically, what I am going to be doing is... I would like to explain what my setup's going to be and when it's coming, and how it will affect the quality of my content. I've actually decided to build a custom PC, so I'm going to find all the parts by myself, because um, I want to find it and create it the way I want it to follow my colour scheme and, and suit my needs. And it also is a great save of money. So basically, I've come up with three tiers of computers that I'm considering um, building. So, no matter what tier I get, I'll be getting it by the end of the term. If I go to tier 2 or tier 3, I won't have the money to pay for it by the end of this term, so I'm just going to borrow about $300 of my parents and pay them back within a couple weeks. But if I choose tier 1, I'll be able to instantly afford it. Basically, I'll just flash tier 1 on the screen right now. It, um, the basics of it is an i5 6500 processor, a GTX 970, 8GB um, of DDR4 RAM, a 250GB SSD, um, a terabyte hard drive, and that's just the main parts that actually matter. The tier 2 upgrades the i5 6500 to an i5 6600K, upgrades the 8GB of RAM to an 16GB of DDR4 RAM, and upgrades the NZXT H440 green case to NZXT H440 Razer case, just to fit the Razer theme I actually plan to put in this room. And I do know Razer is very expensive, but I love their products. <laughs> To be honest, I'm a big fanboy of them. Because I have, I have a job and I don't have any other expenses, I can gain money quite quickly, so it's not that big of a problem for me to get money for these. So I just want to have a Razer-themed setup because I think it looks very nice. Even if their uh, products aren't of the absolute highest quality, they're very high up there, and I'll simply buy them for the aesthetics because they look that good. Anyway, and the final tier, which is tier 3, uh, upgrades the GDX 970 to a GDX 980, upgrades the processor to an i5 6700K, which is significantly better than 6500K in the tier 1, as does the uh, NZXT H440 to a Razer case, um, to a Razer edition, as like the last one did. Upgrades the 650W PSU to a 750W one, and upgrades the 250GB SSD to 500GB SSD. So that's the basis of the computer I'm getting. I'm probably going to get the tier 1 and just upgrade it eventually, because it is still a very fast computer and will fit all my needs. I just still want to be set for the future. So then for my chair, I'm planning on getting a, either a green DX racer, which is very pricey, but I was also looking at an 8-point massage and heated chair. So it's like a massage heating chair for um, significantly cheaper, which looks a lot more comfortable. It doesn't necessarily fit the colour scheme. But since it's a massage chair, it's alright with me. But yeah, it's a battle between those two. Eventually, I'll just be upgrading to three monitors, so I'm getting two extra monitors. And uh, the monitors, by the way, are 24-inch ASUS VX248Hs with one millisecond response times. So they're very good, very nice monitors. Um, for my microphone, I'll probably just be getting the Razer Siren. I think that's how you say it. Siren. Mostly because it has great looks, and I know the Blue Yeti and the Blue Yeti Pro are very high up there, if not better than it. But to be honest, when I listen to their audio comparisons, they are very, very 
very similar. And I believe that aesthetics and user experience of the Razer Siren justifies spending the extra bit of money. And I actually found an Australian store that I very much trust that is selling the Razer Siren for only about $30 more than the Blue Yeti. And uh, that is a special that's on right now and I'm planning to order it soon. And basically I'll be getting a pop filter, a boom stand and an arm stand with that so I can adjust it where I want and have maximum quality audio. By the way, all of this is not in order of what I'm buying, this is just a list of what I will be getting. I'll be getting the Elgato HD60 so I can record console gameplay and use that for my channel. And uh, with that will come a bunch of new Xbox games that I'll be playing and commentating over. And I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do, but I'm, I'm going to base my channel around games after I've got all this gear. There will also still be the kind of videos I'm doing now, just a little bit less of them and a little bit more gameplay, because that's what I originally wanted my channel to be. Just not, I just didn't have the gear to actually execute that. Um, soon after that, I'll actually be replacing this keyboard and the mouse, which is the death out of chroma. Once I get my new desk, which by the way will be coming about the same time as the computer, which will be either a corner desk in the corner of the room that my desk is, my small desk is in right now, or just a very large desk. With either option, I'm going to be getting rid of these two cabinets here, that cabinet over there, moving my bed all the way over there, will allow me to have a lot more space in the room. But yes, and then I'm going to be replacing the death adder with the Razer Mamba Tournament Edition because I just love the aesthetic features of that. I'll be replacing this cheap $15 headset here with a Audio-Technica ATH M20X, which I've heard is a very good good headset just for general gaming or listening to music. And I'm not too picky on my audio, as long as it's good quality and it's a good lasting headset. We'll have this PC by the end of the term, and if you don't know for Australia, that's about nine weeks, I think, around there. Nine, eight or nine weeks. So basically what this will allow me to do is finally base my channel around proper gameplay of any game. I will be able to start series of whatever I want, do comedy videos and funny moments on the games. I'll be able to commentate, do stories over gameplay, and just edit all around better because the computer can actually handle good programs. It'll also increase the amount of uploads and activity on my channel, seen as the new computer will save a lot of time in editing. I hope this video cleared things up for you. I'm certainly looking forward to the near future of when I'll get when I get all this stuff. I'll definitely be doing a new setup video when I get all this stuff and compare it to my last setup doing benchmarks on this current laptop and comparing it to my new computer. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next video.